In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment or assign an assignment to a specific child. This will be useful in accommodating things such as accommodated tests or accommodated assignments that you need. Uh, so let's jump into it. So when you log in, you're going to get to your dashboard just like this. Uh, this is where I build everything. So let's go in here to honors. Alright, so let's say we want to assign an assignment here. Uh, we can do a couple different things here. So we can go here and we can duplicate an assignment. Okay, so now that we've got a duplicate, again, not published, um, but we can come in here and then edit this assignment. Oh, sorry, hit the wrong one. Here, click this assignment right here. Then go to edit. Now, this is going to be the same assignment. You can accommodate it in any way that you need to, but the key is going to come down here to who do you want to assign it to. So it's default to everyone. But let's say I want to go in here and I want to assign it to a specific student. So we can say like, uh, I don't want to give a student's name, but we can go like Corey. And so I see Corey here. I can go ahead and assign that assignment to him, or I can just select uh, specific assignments, or specific children if I need to uh, go to them. Or I can even select a specific course. So we can go to, you know, just my B2 honors or my B4 honors or anything like that. Or I can go back to the default uh, to everyone. So that's how to do an assignment. Uh, you can do the same thing um, with a new assignment. So let's go ahead and delete that one so nothing gets confusing here. Uh, if I want to add a new assignment and I want to create something just for specific kids, same deal as how to build an assignment. So you put the name, the instructions there, everything. Uh, and then right here when it says assigned to, you can just go ahead and type those kids in. As long as they're enrolled in this class, uh, you're going to be able to see them. Now, the problem you may run into is like I'm building an honor section, so like my pre AP section, but. Uh, if I needed to like assign something to my regular students or whatever like that, uh, you just have to go into your other uh, course and do that. And you can do the same thing for uh, quizzes. If you want, you can duplicate a quiz. Oh, I lied. You'd have to build another quiz, classic quiz. And you should be able. To... Yeah. So I have to build another quiz. Uh, submit, build my new accommodated uh, quiz. So, like, if there's, you know, a child out there that needs reduced answer choices by seven twenty-five percent, you know, you have a multiple choice question of four. Uh, you can go in here and create a new question, multiple choice, write your question, and then instead of these four answers. Go ahead and get rid of that one, and now they only have three choices there. So the quiz is going to take you a little bit longer, um, but it can be done. And with that, again, you just go here and assign to X that everyone, and then you can type in your specific kids. So let's go to Corey again, um, and he's right there, and I can just click his name. Uh, if I want to keep assigning to a couple different kids, just keep going in there and uh, doing that and so that's that um, cancel and yeah so that's basically how to uh, assign with uh, a specific kid and like I said if you know uh, I build here if I've got a kid that needs something in here then I have to go in there and, and you know physically uh, put them into it so just make sure that you're in the right uh, course and section for the the child that needs the uh, different assignment or accommodated assignment. So hopefully you all enjoyed it, got something out of it. If you need anything from me, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Other, other Canvas tricks and, and tools that you want to see, and I'll get to them. Appreciate you all watching.